Good morning. Hi. Hi, good morning. How are you? Wow, I see more people here. We must not have gone out late last night, did we? Okay. Have you enjoyed Avon Connect? Yes. I am so excited to be here. It has been truly such a pleasure and an honor to spend time with you. So today we are wrapping our training sessions with a topic that I think is going to greatly benefit you, your customers, your business, and that is skincare ingredients. You know I love my skincare, right? So let me ask you a question. Have you ever been intimidated by ingredients? Who said no? <laughs> yes. Listen, or maybe do you feel like you need a medical degree? Maybe you need to be a scientist, you know, to really decode the ingredients? That's a good picture, right? <laughs> Listen, in terms of ingredients, sometimes it can be difficult to understand what it is, you know, how to even pronounce it, right? And I understand because that used to be me. And listen, when I was just starting out, especially in training, you know, with products, I used to think, you know, it's no big deal. You know, I don't need to understand. I'll just talk about the product, what it does. There's no need to focus on the ingredients, right? I mean, I'll just skate over that part. Nobody's going to notice. But what I quickly learned is that the ingredient, that is what makes the product work. Now, you probably know this, but the best educators, they cannot only talk about what the product is, what it does, but they understand why it works. So for me, to be, to be the best skincare educator, I really needed to understand everything. So I became a sponge. I spent so much time with marketers, product developers, regulatory, even legal, to understand the boundaries, right, of what I can and I can't say, especially from a corporate perspective. But I also took it upon myself to do a lot of research on my own. And you name it, I researched it. Medical journals, blogs, dermatologists. I even, I mean, listen, part of it is even researching on social, right? And I do have to say that with online, I have to always kind of give the, the little PSA. Online can be a slippery slope with facts, right? So for me, and probably for you as well, but really in my job, anything when I'm researching, if I think it's questionable or it's too good to be true, you better believe that I always take it back and it's discussed with our internal experts. There's an entire team. I might be standing on stage today, but there is an entire team of people that I really work with to make sure that everything that we present to you so that you in turn present to your customers is accurate, right? Now here's the good news. Oh, thank you. Here's the good news. You don't have to go that deep. <laughs> I'm here to help simplify, right? I'm here to make it easy to understand. I'm here to really connect the dots between science and between beauty. And when you understand an ingredient, what it is, what it does, how it can help, I promise it is going to give you the power to really recommend those solutions and products more easily. So thus, ingredient intel. Welcome to my master class. <laughs> and I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was great, right? OK, so let's jump in. Everywhere you look, is there not always a new product, a new tool? And lately, have you noticed ingredients? I mean, everybody is talking about, oh my gosh, you guys have to try this ingredient. You have to try that ingredient. Like, that's the new kind of almost buzzword, right, that's out there being discussed. And the reason is that ingredients, especially that are multi-purpose, they have risen above. Every single person, including you, including me, don't we all want things that are dual or multi-purpose? How can you save me steps? How can you save me time? How can you save me money? So for this session in particular, I've actually selected a few of the hottest skincare ingredients that are really making waves right now in the beauty industry. So here's what we're gonna do. You know I like to be very organized. Everybody jokes, they always make fun of me because I've never met a bulleted list I did not love. So it's gotta be in order. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna start with the scientific definition. Now this is the science definition. This isn't about what it means at Avon, what that ingredient is. We're gonna talk about why that ingredient is trending. 
And there's some really interesting things in those sections. And then I'm going to boil it down further with an at-a-glance chart. And that reference guide or that chart with the ingredient, you're going to see what does it mean to Avon, right? What does it do? Who is it good for? How do you use it? And are there any relevant tips? And then, if there's more, we're going to close each segment by looking at the products that we have that feature that ingredient. It's one thing to talk about the ingredient, but let's actually marry it over to the products, right? Thank you. Now, if that's not enough, there's more. I actually have two special guests who are going to take all of that information, and they're actually going to help you apply it to your business with their advice, their wisdom, and actionable tips. Sound good? OK, so let's get started. This first ingredient, you have definitely heard about this ingredient over the past couple of days. Can anybody take a guess what the first ingredient is? Wow, magical, niacinamide. <laughs> niacinamide, like Haya, but Naya. Niacinamide. OK, so let's talk about what the scientific definition of niacinamide is. All right, here we go. So the scientific definition, niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3, it's a water-soluble vitamin that works with the natural substances in your skin to help do things like even out skin tone, visibly improved enlarged pores. It helps with dullness, fine lines, and even in some cases, it can help reduce hyperpigmentation and calm redness. Now, given that it does so much, we really like to call this a very versatile ingredient. And what that means is that it has multifunctional benefits. So all of those things I just listed, it's multifunctional. She does a lot, right? So let's go right on in to why niacinamide is trending right now. Can we put the slide back up really quickly? This one? OK, yes, get your pictures. OK, so let's talk about why it's actually trending. OK. So first and foremost, it's because it's versatile. I just said that. It does a lot. It's really becoming the ingredient itself. It's becoming a go-to in serums, in creams, and that's because it appeals to a lot of people. It appeals to a lot of ages, right? Almost all ages, all adults, all skin types. It's really great. Now, here's something. While the studies about the efficacy of niacinamide in cosmetics, they've been around for about a decade now. Um, but consumer demand has actually recently increased for that ingredient. Case in point, check this out. In the last two years, the use of niacinamide in the beauty industry has jumped more than 220%. And that is just in the two past years, right? And the, yep, so 220%. Now, industry experts say that this is due to people learning about the ingredient on social media. So channels like Instagram, TikTok, and given that niacinamide, it's a hot topic in the skincare industry, it really makes sense that content that's being consumed, it's mainly on TikTok, because I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people, they're on TikTok for more than just you know babies and puppies, right? I mean, I know me, I love all of that, I go down the rabbit holes, but people that are there for skincare, they are super interested in the skincare trends and tips. I just wanna take a moment and pause, and go back to remember when I said it's a slippery slope with what you're going to learn on, you know, see on TikTok. So just remember, not everything is always the case, but we know that it's there and people are actually looking for it. So speaking of TikTok popularity, niacinamide related videos, check this out. They have amassed over 2 billion views and over 6 billion views using the hashtag niacinamide. Interesting, right? OK, going to boil it down for you. Now let's look at the at-a-glance chart. So with all of that in mind, let's talk about what it means to us at Avon in our products. So I've said that niacinamide, it's a multitasker for your skin. By the way, what a great buzzword. Do you remember yesterday when we talked about that with Barb in the discussion about having your buzzwords? Multitasker is a great one. 
So we know that with niacinamide, it's an ingredient that a lot of people can use, and it helps with a number of things. Now, the main goal for us when we're looking at the majority of our products is to really help even out your skin tone, but it's also going to help minimize the look of pores and strengthen your skin barrier. Everybody wants a very healthy, strong skin barrier, okay? So it does a lot, but I wanted to also put it in order of priority, so those benefits. So first and foremost, it evens out skin tone. It's going to minimize the look of pores. It helps strengthen the skin barrier, diminishes fine lines and wrinkles, and it also can help with dullness. Now I want to pause for another moment and have a little note about the dullness. See how dullness is the last one up there? Now it's great that it helps with dullness, but here's a little secret. Because it's not at the top, if you really want to focus on dullness, you may want to choose another ingredient that may better serve you. Does that make sense? You know how I always talk about the strongest is at the top, and as it filters down, everything else kind of becomes a bonus benefit? So you're still going to get the benefit of helping with dullness, but if you're really concerned about dullness, there are other ingredients, and there may be one we're going to talk about today, okay? All right, let's talk about the rest of the chart. Um, also notable, you can see niacinamide. It also plays well with other ingredients. And what that means is it means that you can actually incorporate it right into your existing skincare. You don't have to actually remove something to put this in very often. So you can just add it in. Let's see. Use it AM and PM, and of course you can see the skin types. It's good for almost all skin types. The reason you don't see sensitive skin, and I'm just gonna pause for a second on that one as well. The reason you don't see sensitive skin is because with sensitive skin, we as a company have to make sure that before we promote that, it has to be tested and suitable for sensitive skin. So in something that's very general, you very rarely will see, especially for an ingredient that we're including sensitive skin. So I just wanted to make that note. It doesn't mean that we don't have products with niacinamide that aren't suitable for sensitive skin, but it just means that this is kind of a broad sweep and I wanna make sure that we're very clear. I want you to have all of the facts. Okay. All right, so next up, I want to show a few products with niacinamide. So here's a couple of highlights. Check this out. All right. They look nice, don't they? Of course, I wanted to show some of the newness. We have our Beyond Glow, the eye cream. We also have the targeted, the neck and, the neck and chest cream. But look at niacinamide making an appearance in our heritage brand anew. Is that shocking, surprising to anybody? Yeah, right? Okay, so here's the deal. I wanted to showcase those two products because I wanted to demonstrate that the hottest ingredients that we have in the industry, they're not only in new products, right? So you can see that niacinamide, it's going to span the gamut. So do you think there's more than that? You're like, yeah, stop holding back. Okay, check out all of the skincare that we have, and body care, and we have some makeup, and we even have hair care with niacinamide. So more than just four. By the way, I do have to give a shout out to the makeup. Yesterday, we focused on all of the new beauty, and we had skincare, and we had fragrance, and we had body care, and you know, we have some amazing color products. And by the way, this product, the FMG Cashmere Makeup Primer, that is something I literally cannot go without every single day. So had to give our color team a shout out for that. All right. <laughs> They deserve love, everybody deserves love. Okay, so while you're looking at this and getting your pictures, here's a valuable little nugget of information. You know, I love to share those. According to a 2023 survey by Mintel, products containing niacinamide saw a 35% increase in sales compared to the previous year. So let me just repeat that. Products that contained niacinamide saw a 35% increase in sale. Sales, I'm looking at all these products. I immediately start to do calculations, right? You can see the opportunity is right there. So why the surge in sales? Well, it's because there's a growing demand for products um, that offer those multiple benefits with one ingredient. Of course, there's a lot of other reasons, but that's probably the largest. 
Now, with niacinamide, everybody's got their pictures. I am a fan of mixing brands. So I told you yesterday that when appropriate, I would show you some sample regimens. So I thought it would be fun to show you kind of a sample regimen using all niacinamide products that have niacinamide. So let's take a look. So this is just a sample regimen. Obviously, the slide before, there were so many products to pick from. You can mix and match. And honestly, this is my regimen. <laughs> I was like, well, let me just show what I'm doing. So this is an example when I want everything even. And we all know I can use all the even and out I can get, right? So we've got our cleanser. We have our mist. So I kind of, pre I kind of prep. I spritz my you know, skin with the cream mist. You know I love my snail mucin, my essence. I use it as the essence. I go in. Again, that not only has the snail mucin, it has niacinamide. So she's going to help even out your skin tone. Then I do my targeted treatments. I have a couple of serums. I love my platinum age delay every single day. I get nervous if I kind of starts to get low. Um, and of course, I've now got my targeted face and neck that I've recently incorporated. And of course, moisturizing. It's more than just your face, right? I said this yesterday, I say this all the time. It's moisturizing your face, your eyes, your lips, your body. So we have something for everything. Of course, I always wax poetic about SPF, right? Um, and look, Solaire, it has niacinamide in it. So that's another benefit. Again, very important to have your SPF, but we love our Solaire, our Dominus products, because they also have skincare ingredients, so they're also doing good things to your skin while they're protecting. And then, of course, I just wanted to include the primer just because the very next thing I do after I finish my skincare routine, especially during the day, is I immediately prime my skin. And so here's a couple of options. And there's the FMG Cashmere. You can see that's kind of at the top. Um, and by the way, if you didn't know this, we also have a multi-corrector. And it's positioned as a serum, like a targeted treatment. But you can also use that as a primer as well. So, OK. Everybody good with niacinamide? Do you feel like you understand what niacinamide does? What does it do? It does what? It helps even. Yes, it's multi-benefit. It helps even out your skin tone. Absolutely. OK, I feel like we're good with that one. So we're ready to move on to the next? All right. Next up, snail mucin. <laughs> all right, all right. Hang with me. If you have not tried the product, please hang with me. But first of all, let's talk about what snail mucin is. OK. There we go. <laughs> all right, so snail mucin is actually a secretion from snails that is packed with beneficial ingredients. So let me just take a moment and talk about that. So you know snail, this, when I talk about the snail mucin, the secretion, you know what that is? It's the little trail that they leave behind when they move. By the way, that little trail is important to those little snails because it's going to protect the surface of their skin. It helps moisturize it to, from keeping, you know, from you know, making sure it's not going to get too dry and crack. Don't we want to have the same thing, right? Yeah. They'd have a hard time moving without that. My goodness. All right, so we also talked about the fact it's packed with beneficial ingredients that have incredible properties. And with all of those properties, you very often hear the fact that it's called having the glass skin effect. Has anybody felt like you've had the glass skin effect? Okay, here's another little notable before we move on. So snail mucin actually has roots back to ancient Greece, but it was discovered in the 1980s by snail breeders in Chile. And how? They noticed when they were working with the snails that they actually had very soft and smooth hands after handling them, even while being out, exposed in all of the elements, exposed in the weather. Eventually, a snail mucin hand cream was created, and the rest is history. So you know I always love to give just a couple of little history nuggets, right? So let's talk about why. Why is it trending and having a big moment? OK. So snail mucin has been a staple in Korean skincare, K-beauty, for years. But the popularity here in the Western market, it has skyrocketed recently. In 2023, there was a 50% increase in snails of snail mucin products in the US. And that was dri driven by the growing interest in K-beauty and its important ingredients. Did you catch that? 50%? 50% sales increase. Now, I want to step back to the snails for just a moment. 
Now, you may not think that we have anything in common with snails, but our bodies actually have a very similar makeup. Snail mucin is about 90% water, and the other 10% are things like collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid. Our bodies, they're about 90% water, and we also have collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid. So what's the difference? The difference is that as our bodies age, we actually start to lose the collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid. So we have to replenish that in order to make sure that we're keeping our skin hydrated, healthy. We all want kind of that nice, firm, cushy bounce, right? A great way to replenish that, hello, snail mucin, right? So it's also great for almost everyone, adults with various skin types, skin concerns, dermatologists, skin care influencers, they've been actually endorsing snail mucin for its proven benefits. So that also has further driven that popularity. Now, here's an impressive stat. Check this out. The search volume for snail mucin has surged over 1,400% in the past five years. So, we're backed by research, right? This clearly reflects a growing interest among consumers with this ingredient. This year, we've continued to see a surge in TikTok as well, and of course, that's largely driven by the perceived skincare benefits, but really, it's not just that. We know that with this ingredient, it's the visible before and after results that it creates. I know some of you have done some before and afters and you've had some success, right? Shout out if you have, tell us in the chat. So I know that that is a really demonstrable ingredient, but videos also featuring snail mucin, they have amassed over 1.3 billion views. That's a lot. And I just have to say, and I know you know this, but I continuously want to drive it home that you have the products. If you're on TikTok, if you're on social, if you're not on social, you are in the game. Now, we know that visual, user-generated content, it helps um, those trends spread very quickly, right? And the stats we're seeing today, like snail mucin, they have a significant impact in the beauty community where platforms like your Instagram, your TikTok, they're the springboard for all of that content, right? And I'm not saying that you have to be on TikTok to share it, to sell it. It's a balance, right? I'm just giving you some stats where social, where we're seeing a lot of the growth, but it truly is a balance. And you're gonna hear an example today from one of my guests that doesn't even involve a social media platform at all, okay? So the, snail, the appeal of snail mucin, it's really growing so much that the snail beauty products in the market, you ready for this? They're expected to be worth more than $982 million by 2031. That's a lot. I'd like a couple of those coins in my pocket. I don't know about you, right? Okay. You have the products. Okay, so let's take a look at the chart. We know that we love an at a glance. So we love that this product, it moisturizes, it brightens, it retexturizes. And due to the fact that it plays well with other ingredients, it's another ingredient that is so easy to incorporate into your daily skincare routine. Of course, you can use it anytime, morning, evening. You know I love my essence on the Snell, Snell Mucin Serum. I use that in the morning and the evening. For the cream, I really love that one. For me in particular, I use that in the evening. And of course, we just talked about the fact that it plays well with others. So we currently have two products with Snail Mucin Complex. So I wanna pause for a second because that was a question I was receiving quite a bit yesterday um, at the skincare booth. A lot of people were asking, does all of Beyond Glow have Snail Mucin? And it doesn't. So we have two products right now, your Snail Mucin Essence and your Serum that actually have those products. Everybody good with that? All right, are we ready to move on? Yes. All right, let's take a look at the next ingredient. What do you think it is? No? Retinol. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, here we go. Now I have to drive home again. This is a scientific definition. This is not Avon's definition. Regulatory and legal are watching me like a hawk right now. <laughs> see, I see Susan right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the scientific definition of retinol. 
It is a form of vitamin A, which is a very powerful antioxidant that helps to support your skin's renewal process. And it does all of that in terms of renewal. Renewal. Oh, well, why don't I show that to you? There we go. <laughs> it does all of that in terms of renewal. It helps restore volume. It addresses the loss of firmness, elasticity. And by doing that, guess what? That helps to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles. And there's more. It can also help diminish hyperpigmentation. It can improve skin tone, texture, and it can even help with acne because it helps speed up your skin, the turnover, right? So it's no wonder that retinol is considered a gold standard ingredient in the world of anti-aging. So let's talk about why retinol is trending now. Okay, to be very clear, retinol is not a new ingredient. This is not a new trend. Retinol actually has ties over 3,000 years back to Egypt, but it was really started to be utilized to treat acne in the 70s, and then in the 80s, it came onto the market as a very aggressive anti-aging skincare treatment, and it's been very popular ever since. Now, however, with all of that said, we know that it's been an ingredient that's been around a long time. However, the demand has recently soared with a 40% increase in Google searches. See, I'm not just always on TikTok. Google searches, right? 40%. Now, why? Why would you think there's the demand? Okay, so first of all, it's an ingredient that is widely available. You can get this both by prescription. There's all various types of prescription products with retinol, all different strengths. You also can get this over the counter. You look everywhere and you see products that are touting that they have retinol, right? On social media, here's another really big one. You are not only seeing influencers that are getting up and talking all about the benefits of the ingredients, but professionals with credibility estheticians, dermatologists. Speaking of dermatologists, over 70% of dermatologists that were surveyed by the American Academy of Dermatology, they recommended retinol as a key ingredient for anti-aging skincare. Now, I personally never heard of a dermatologist that doesn't recommend it for most people, so I'm assuming that that 30% is probably going to account for those skin types that just cannot use the ingredient. Because we know that retinol, it is not an ingredient that is for everyone, and we're going to talk about that. Now, last year, the global market for skincare products with retinol, you know, i got to talk some numbers, right? Last year, it was valued at about $1.3 billion. Guess where it's going to be by 2028, which is... Goodness gracious, right around the corner almost. By 2028, 1.8 billion. So you have the products. <laughs> You've got a lot of opportunity. Let's look at our TikTok popularity. All right, so retinol on TikTok, this is pretty in interesting. Retinol is part of this movement called Supercharged Classics. I thought that was so cool when I found that. I was like, really? I was like, Supercharged? That's a nice name. But it's resurging as a must-have skincare ingredient. Now, to date, retinol has had more than 7.2 billion views on TikTok. Again, I just said this a moment ago, we're seeing a lot of dermatologists. Now, they're not just on TikTok, they're on all other platforms, right? But they're posting videos not only about the ingredient and what it can do for your skin, but they're also really, you're seeing them really provide tips now that are teaching you how to use it without the scare factor. Because we know that retinol, it can be a little bit scary, right, to some people. So the scare factor, what do I mean by that? Is that, oh my gosh, if I use this retinol product, my skin's gonna purge. And by purge, what I mean is it could break out, it can peel, it can turn red, it can flake, it can do all of the things, my skin is really angry. But I wanna say that those side effects of retinol, it just means it's doing its job. But the good news is that there are now ways to actually use the ingredient without some of those harsher side effects. Let's take a look at our at-a-glance chart. All right, here's your chart. We got a lot of things to say about this one. Okay, so in short, retinol, the most powerful anti-aging ingredient. At Avon, we use retinol as a way to exfoliate your skin. 
and that's going to help speed up the turnover because we all want fresh and glowy, dewy skin, right? We get a retinol. It really, when you apply it, it's going to get in there. It's going to dig, right? It's going to get in there and push everything out so that it makes the way for all of your clean, beautiful, healthy skin to kind of emerge. By doing that, you can see that it addresses everything. I said this earlier, from fine lines to rough skin to texture. This ingredient, this is a big call out for retinol. It is good for all skin types except, and I would say except in caps, sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, you have sensitive skin issues, medical you know, skin issues, whatever it is, maybe you're pregnant, you're nursing, there's always kind of situationals, this is not going to be the ingredient for you, okay? Now, another one that's really important in terms of the usage, you can see I have a few things up there. So for retinol, you should only use this in the evening. Now, the reason is because it can cause photosensitivity. Now, I said that word a lot, and some people are like, photosensitivity? Like, how many photos are you going to take of yourself? <laughs> I wish I had a camera right now because right I'd have been perfect to be like, ding. Um, but no, photosensitivity means that it makes your skin, when you apply it, when you are exposed to the elements and out in the sun, it makes your skin more susceptible to burning. So that's what I mean when I say photosensitivity. So you definitively do not want to apply this during the morning. So apply it in the evening. And by the way, this is another kind of, you know, PSA of why you should wash your face in the morning as well. We want to make sure it's, while it's overnight, it's doing its job, it's getting to work, getting all the stuff out, and then in the morning, you wash it off, you do your skincare routine, and you absolutely are going to want to follow with SPF, okay? All right, so I want to talk about a few tips for retinol usage, because I feel like because this is such a strong and a powerful ingredient. We should just talk about this. I will say, I'll pause for a second. I did a master class on retinol a few months ago. Feels like a few months ago. Yes, back in March. It's on the Avon YouTube channel under master classes if you really want to take a deep dive into retinol. So just know that that is there. Um, but here's a question. Have any of you ever tried retinol and had a not so great experience with it? Tell us in the chat. Have anybody tried it and had like, Yep, mm -hmm, yep, I know that I have. And every single time I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? So I typically re recommend with retinol the low and the slow approach. Now what I mean by that is start low in percentage and go slow. Start once a week and build up. In terms of the amount, you're not gonna believe this, but you should only use about a pea-sized amount for your face and your neck. I know that that sounds like a very tiny amount and that you're not going to be able to really get the benefits, but when you take that pea-sized amount, just take it and dab it and literally teeny little dabs all over, avoid your eye area and your neck, and then just mas gently massage it in. And I promise a little bit is, uh, goes a long way. This is not the ingredient that you want to slather yourself with. So when you talk, you hear me talking about slathering myself and slicking down my skin and doing all the things, this isn't the one I'm doing it with, right? <laughs> I mean, I could, but I don't know that it, I'd want to be standing on stage right now with my face. <laughs> all right, so it's not for the faint of heart, right? Now, I'm not trying to scare you because I'm going to give you some more tips. Most people, the majority when they're using retinol, they actually will cleanse their skin you can apply your mist, your essence, whatever, do your serums, and then they'll apply the retinol, and then they'll actually follow with moisturizer or a facial oil. Again, you're not using it unless you're a seasoned pro. You're not using this every single night, okay? Now, during the day, I mentioned this just a couple of moments ago. Obviously, you should always be using SPF, but the night when you're using retinol the next morning, the next day, you should absolutely use at least a minimum of SPF 30. I really prefer SPF 50, and I'm not just trying to be a walking billboard for our Solaire and our Dominus products, but again, I'm not only protecting my skin, I'm actually getting the benefits of the skincare ingredients, and personally, I love the end benefit of that, those SPF, both of the products, because they give me this really nice dewy glow, really pretty. Another thing about retinol, we used to always think, oh, it's just for your face and neck. But did you know that it can be used on your body as well? You want me to tell you why I know you can use it on your body as well? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Yep, just recently had a little experience. Sorry, we're going to pause. I know P production's like, oh, here she goes again. Got to pause for a minute. So, true story, a few weeks ago, maybe it was a couple of months ago, I don't know, I started noticing some little pinpoint, like little kind of bruises on my arms and my legs. And I was like, immediately, I was like, <gasps> what have I got? You know, and then I'm like, what kind of deficiency? I'm going to have to go see a doctor. And so I happened to be at my dermatologist, and I happened to men mention it, and he was just like, mmm. And I was like, what does that mean? Like, is it serious? <sighs> and he was like, yeah. He was like, that, those are your blood vessels right below the skin that are, you know, that are, that are breaking. And I was like, and? I was like, I'm not run I mean, I know I'm clumsy, but I'm not, how, what am I doing running into miniature little things? Like, what's happening? And he was just like, yeah, that, that's, that's thin skin. Sir, do you know what I do for a living? <laughs> I was, oh, seriously, I, I, was, I was very upset. I was like, are you for real? I was like, thin skin. I was like, I'm not even 50 yet. I've got at least three more months. <sighs> Come on. God. The reason I bring that up, you're like, thanks for the personal story. Didn't really need that. But the reason I bring it up is because guess what his recommendation was? retinol. He was like, start using retinol on your arms and your legs. And he was like, you know, I can write a prescription. And I was like, well, what kind of retinol? And he was like, well, you know, anything, you know, you kind of want to look for, you know, retinol that has a little bit of a higher percentage. And I was like, what kind of percentage? And he was like, I don't know. He was like, you know, about 1%. I was like, and I pull up my phone. I'm like, like this one? <laughs> and he's like, he looks at the ingredients and he's like, yeah, like that one. I was like, I don't need your prescription because I already have one. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm just saying, when you're talking to those doctors, listen to them, but also do your own research. So obviously I'm going to say, you have the products now. And I'm not trying to call out anybody else with thin skin, but it can't just be me. Make me feel better when you see me and tell me it's you too. <laughs> okay. All right. I have a couple of tips that I want to share in terms of the retinol to make your experience even better. So bear with me. This is called the sandwich method. And yes, I'm a little snackish, but it's called the sandwich method. So what you're going to do, if you have never used retinol, maybe you've used it, you've had a not so great experience, or maybe you're just like, I don't want to even tempt you know, the, the potential side effects of retinol. So what you're going to do is you're going to cleanse your skin, you're going to do your normal skincare routine, you know, do your serums, all of that stuff, and then what you're going to do is you're going to sandwich the retinol. So you're going to take your moisturizer, and I'm not suggesting that you double moisturize, so let's just pretend that you normally use like a nickel size amount of moisturizer. What you're going to do is you're going to have your nickel size amount, you'll take half of it, and then you'll apply it, you'll follow with your retinol about your pea-sized amount, and then you'll take the remainder of your moisturizer and go right behind. And that is considered the sandwich method. Did I teach you something new today? <laughs> I know. Bless me. Okay. By the way, in case you're thinking, for those of you that have used retinol, in case you're thinking, well, you know, doesn't that buffer the ingredient from really absorbing? You always say, JJ, we should apply our actives first because, you know, they really need to get in there and do the job. Well, yes. Absolutely. That's the whole point of this, though, is because I actually want to create that buffer because I want to help minimize those potential side effects. You will still get those results, but it's just a little bit more of a journey, and that's okay, right? Skincare is a long game. This isn't something that's kind of overnight. All right, by the way, one last thing for retinol. Um, in case you're like, okay, thank you for teaching us how to slice it in half and, you know, like all of those things, measure it out, you can also just mix it with your moisturizer. So again, you could take your like nickel sized amount, you could take your little pea sized amount, mix it up, and then you could just apply it, okay? So that's the kind of an on the go, which I do that sometimes as well. All right, let's take a look at the featured product with retinol. So you've got a few options for retinol, um, but the most notable obviously with you know, challenging my dermatologist is our 1% that provides amazing results. Okay, let's take a look at other products that include some form of retinol. Here we go. You can see we have some skincare products, 
We even have our cashmere essence cream that has a bioretinol core in it. By the way, um, I think you probably all know this, but I have to just say that retinol, it is a solid ingredient. It holds a lot of weight. This is an ingredient that it is not going anywhere. You just saw that all about when we were looking at all of the trends. Now, before we move on to the next ingredient, I do want to mention that there are some people who just cannot use retinol. So if you have incredibly sensitive skin, maybe you have that medical skin condition, maybe it's situational, like I said, you're pregnant, you're nursing, there are natural alternatives. You may hear them called things like bioretinol, phytoretinol, natural retinol alternative. And really the main ingredient, there's a few, but the biggest one that we know is Vicuchiol. Now the good news is that you have some products that contain Vicuchiol, right? So you have Bacuchiol is a plant-based alternative to retinol with similar results that um, is going to give you all of those beautiful results without those side effects, right? And the great news is that with Bacuchiol, you can actually use that in the morning because it doesn't create any sensitivity. Does anybody take a sneak peek about one of those products? Remember what I said yesterday that one of our new launches, the a new Ultimate Supreme, actually has Bacuchiol in addition to all of the other things. So. This is a really great product. They're all really great, but it's in terms of the newness, this is a really great product. All right, everybody feel good about retinol. Yeah. Was that it? That was like a mini master class, right? With a sad story. All right. No, it's not. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, good. I'm gonna be good in a few months when my legs look better. Um, don't, now everybody's gonna be looking at my legs. Don't look at my legs. <laughs> All right, so the last ingredient, vitamin C. Yes, we love our vitamin C. So vitamin C, let's jump into this. It is a powerful antioxidant that is used widely in skincare, and that's due to its numerous benefits. It does it all. It gives protection, it brightens the skin, it reduces the appearance of dark spots, uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation, and it also even helps reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Now, why is it trending? Like retinol, this is not a new ingredient, but it continues to be a trend because it is proven. It is a proven antioxidant that we know that works. Like retinol, it's absolutely amazing. It appeals to all ages, all skin types, all skin concerns. And check this out. Here's another, you know I love my little um, stats here. This established ingredient continues to grow. In fact, that predicted growth rate, check that out, the predicted growth rate is expected to hit $3.5 billion by 2032. That's around the corner. So again, look at all the products that you've got. You know how many products you have that have vitamin C. I look at that stat and I'm like, wow, like that is an opportunity for major sales. So let's take a look at that at a glance chart. So here's your at a glance. Again, it's truly one of the most beneficial topical vitamins that you can actually apply to your skin. The main goal of vitamin C, as you know, it does a lot, but the main goal of it is to really protect your skin from environmental damage like UV rays, pollution, you know, free radicals. That's a whole nother thing. I've got a master class on YouTube on that as well. You can go check out. Um, but in terms of the vanity side, what we always like to look at it for is because it really helps to brighten your skin. It helps to fade those dark spots. It can help reduce the hyperpigmentation. So in order of priority, do you see anything there? Dullness, sun damage, right? We know that helps minimize those dark spots. It helps, you know, that leads to evening out your skin tone. It smooths your skin texture, helps minimize the fine lines and wrinkles. So remember earlier when we were looking at niacinamide and it was t it's first thing, you know the first thing that the ingredient does is even out your skin tone and kind of at the bottom was bone it was dullness as that bonus benefit look how this flipped you have dullness as the first so earlier when i said you know if you're like wow like i really want to address you know i want to make my skin radiant 
you always reach for a vitamin C, but you can also pair it with niacinamide because niacinamide absolutely plays well with other ingredients. So you can get the best of both worlds in terms of really using the vitamin C and your, um, and your niacinamide. And of course, we love the fact that this um, ingredient, the one thing to call out, it plays well with a lot of other ingredients minus retinol. So that means if you're using your vitamin C products um, kind of in the evening, just make sure that you kind of just take the vitamin C and just put it over here just for the evening. You can go right back to it in the morning, okay? Let's take a look at a couple of featured products. Oh, I love these. Those new exfoliating peel pads. They are so good. Um, and just to pause for a moment on that, I said this yesterday at the skincare booth um, that they're incredible. I'm not only using them on my face, my neck, I'm using them one for each arm, now my legs, I mean like everywhere. I absolutely love them. And I love the fact that it gives you kind of that, it has that waffle, it has the two-sided, so you get the, you know, the physical exfoliation, very gentle, but you also get kind of that chemical exfoliation with the vitamin C, the pineapple extract, so they're great. And just one call out is that a lot of times, people that have sensitive skin, Sometimes they really can't use vitamin C, like citric acid-based products, but these were, these were tested and they're suitable for sensitive skin. So that's something important to call out. Now my PSA always is please, if you really have sensitive skin, check with your doctor, your dermatologist, do your patch test, all of the things, you know my spill. And of course, we love both of our vitamin C serums. They're both incredible. We love our original and new. We also love the new Beyond Glow. Beyond Glow, to me, this was like the level up um, because now it took the marriage of vitamin C and you added the furilic acid, which furilic acid really is all about protecting from the outside. So like to me, the furilic is like, you can't come in here and the vitamin C goes in and it's actually protecting the cells. So you're getting kind of that double benefit. I could really talk about these products all day, but I won't. Let's take a look at all of the products with vitamin C. Take a look. Opportunity, right? A lot of skincare products. We have skincare, we have some body care, makeup. Look at that. Do you see some of your favorite products up there? I bet you do. All right. Before we transition to the workshop portion, has everybody got their photo? One, two, Three, okay. <laughs> Before we transition to the workshop, um, I also wanted to show you another slide with a sample regimen. So check it out. So if you were looking to brighten everything, including your outlook on life, <laughs> oh, that was meant, I directed that towards myself. <laughs> then. This is just a sample regimen. You've got so many vitamin C products. Again, if you're here with us in person, you can see the entire collection, plus a little sneak peek, wink, wink, um, that is going to be coming. But again, you see you've got everything. You've got your cleansing, your daily exfoliation. You've got something for face. You've got something for body. You have your targeted treatments. You've got your moisturizing, again, face, eyes, lips, and body. And then you even have your overnight. So really cool, right? All right, what do we think? Do we all feel very scientific-y at this point? All right, all right. So I wanted to kind of take a quick recap with all of the ingredients, um, kind of with one word. All right, niacinamide. What's the, what's the word? Yes, multitasker. I would say maybe prevalent, right? because it's in the forefront due to those multi-purpose benefits. You're gonna see that this ingredient, it is going to continue to grow in popularity. Snail mucin. <laughs> trend, I wanna say trend, right? Now the reason I say that is you heard me say yesterday that there is a difference between trend and a fad. Fads do not last long. Trend means that there is a big demand in the market. Remember that over 1,400% right slide for the searching? There is a big demand for snail mucin right now in the market. People want it. Retinol, powerful, just like us, right? 
It's by far the most powerful results-driven anti-aging ingredient anywhere in the world. And last but not least, we have vitamin C. And the word I would probably use for that would be universal. And the reason is because it's loved by people across the globe. It's easily accessible, it's easy to understand, it's easy to use and to incorporate into your skincare routine. How do you all feel about all of the information? Do you feel like you just went to like a little master class? Are you like, uh-huh, 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 I'm gonna say anything because I'm ready for lunch? No. All right, do you feel like it's a lot of information though? Yeah, I get it, I understand, I understand. I wrote it, so I understand, right? So with that, I actually want to bring out two very special guests who are actually going to take all of that information that I just shared, and they're actually going to make it applicable for you and your business. So without further ado, please help me welcome Bernadette Calamaris, Platinum Executive Leader, and Julie Tierney, Silver Executive Leader. Julie, Bernadette, hi. She doesn't say. Hi. Aw, hi, how are you? Hi. Hello, hello. Oh, I am so excited to have both of you with me today. This is a real treat, I have to say that. So um, you're gonna take and just, re you're gonna regurgitate everything I talked about, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, listen, while we're getting settled, I would like for all of you, go ahead, pull out your cell phones and get ready for the workshop. Go ahead and scan your QR code and your personalized workbook, your Google form, it will actually c come up. Okay, are we ready? Do we have one more chair? Are you gonna make me stand? What's happening there? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get seated. Look at your cute shoes, Julie. Those you are like nice. Them? I absolutely love those. Well, you know, my heel fell off my shoes. Did you wanna tell that story? I wasn't going to. My heel, <laughs> my heel fell off my shoes and I was in the verge of tears, but then Avon gave me these designer shoes. So I decided I wasn't gonna go crazy finding shoes. Yeah, absolutely. I wore them for you. I think they look amazing. Okay, why don't you guys have a seat? Let's just have a seat. All right, we're all comfy now, right? We are. Yeah, okay, so I know that that was a lot of information, but truly, I've said this so many times to both of you, I am so thrilled to have both of you here because I want you to really help bring this to life, right, by sharing your experiences, your wisdom, so I don't know, take it away, I'm so excited. Well, hello everyone, we're so happy to be here today to share with you. Yes, we're thrilled, hi everyone. Wow, overwhelming information, right? <laughs> it can be really confusing trying to understand all these skincare products and what to recommend, what does what, and so on, right? But understanding the products that you are recommending is really important. That's why Julie and I always try to understand each new product and how to recommend them by understanding the science behind the ingredients. Now, I know, it's time consuming. Not everyone has the time or the patience to go and educate yourself and listen to all these trainings, but it really is important because your customers are hearing these terms. They're hearing niacinamide, they're hearing bucuchiol, they're hearing snail mucin and vitamin C, they're, they're watching TikTok, they're looking at magazines, and it really is important for you to understand what they're asking. So Julie, I have a question about that because you're talking about the education. So what are some of those top resources that you both utilize to help you become the expert, become the face of the product, right? Well, Avon has so many sources of education for you. Um, my number one is Janine's master class. <laughs> How are you liking it so far? I recommend always trying to listen to the master class. You can download um, or you can find the, the link to the Zoom under the marketing tab and the calendar on avon.com. Even if you cannot attend live, please down, um, go ahead and register because then you'll receive the link for the replay. But if you don't remember to register, don't panic because it will be available on Avon's YouTube channel for you to watch at your convenience. 
Now, the great thing about the YouTube channel is that that link is shareable. So if you are confused about words to say to promote a product or a regimen or whatever Janine's master class was for that week, go ahead and share that YouTube video with your customers and let Janine do the talking for you. <laughs> that might be scary sometimes. <laughs> I love Janine's classes as well. On top of her giving us a ton of knowledge, she adds humor to it. I mean, have you ever been in a class with a boring teacher? It goes on forever, and you're like, when is it going to end? And then it ends, and you remember nothing. But Janine's, you always get that takeaway, one, two, or three takeaways to share. And let's not forget the campaign connection with Jonathan. That's also available um, every other Wednesday at the beginning of a campaign. And you know, people sometimes don't think, Bernadette and I, because we've been here forever, don't want to learn. We always want to learn. That so so old. <laughs> <laughs> tune in whenever you can. Now don't forget about the product snapshot. Now, did you know that each new skincare launch? launches with a PDF product snapshot, and it tells you the key ingredients, the usage benefits, and how to recommend these products. It's really great. Now, it's very easy to share, either with your mobile phone or on your computer. If you're on your mobile phone, just scroll underneath the product description, click on the picture of the product snapshot, and then it'll show full screen. Just take a screenshot and then email it or text it out. On your computer, just as easy. Again, under the product description, just click on the product snapshot, and then you can actually download it to your computer and email it in an attachment, or um, you can also print it out. Now you'll have the hard copy to share with your customers, put it in their, in their order, put it in the brochure right where the product is to give them that information that you want them to know about this new skincare product. So we have so much information, but hopefully you're all using the filtering tool, which I forgot about till our conversation. Um, you can find that under shop, skincare, and right up at the top, you're gonna see your filtering tool. It's a great way for you to suggest products to your customers, it addresses their needs. Um, the other day, I was curious about niacinamide, so I clicked on that and I was like, wow, look at all these products. So it's a wonderful tool, so take a peek at it if you haven't seen it. Julie, I'm glad that you actually brought up the filter tool because it is a great resource, right, to help you find the right the product that's right for you. It's a great resource for you to use this with your customers, but it also, to your point, can be used to identify products that actually have specific ingredients. So when we were just going through, right, our mini master class with all of the ingredients, I would not expect that everybody would know what products have what ingredients, and this is such a convenient way to help. I know that you took the picture of the slide, but use Avon.com, use that filtering tool, and you can actually narrow it down based on other things as well. Mm -hmm. So I actually wanna go to the kind of the workshop portion for just a moment. We actually have a question for all of you, and that is, how do you educate yourself? How do you make yourself the expert with the products? So is there a new resource that you haven't tried yet? If not, um, which one will you commit to using um, when you get back home? And I think we're going to put the slide up with the pic. Yep, there you go. All right, so everybody got their workbook? OK, we'll just give it just a couple of moments. Is there anything else that we missed that you wanted to add to that? I think that was it. Yeah. yeah. Shop and learn. Awesome. Did we? No. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, while you're doing that, let's just continue the conversation um, with Julie and Bernadette. So I wanna move on and talk about customers. Specifically, I wanna know how you keep your customers coming back because I know that they do. I wanna talk about, I want you to share, how do you elevate their orders? And of course, we're always curious what you do to reach new people. Well, now that you know how to find the edu uh, information to help educate yourself, how are you going to engage your customers? 
Well, you know, you love to try before you buy, right? Who doesn't love to try something before they buy it? Samples are the single most important investment in your business that you can make. Just a small investment, pennies, in samples can lead you to repeat business mm -hmm. and cross-selling other products within that line. I wanted to share a little story about when I first started with Avon. Um, we all start from somewhere. I, live in, I lived in a rural area. I had my young children. I was a nurse. I was taking care of my mom. And I joined Avon. But I was really shy. Like, this would never happen. <laughs> So I, you know, I listened to meetings and it was all about skincare, skincare, skincare. And it was at the time President's Club cycle was coming to an end and I'm like, boy, I, I wanna be a President's Club member. How am I going to do this? Mm -hmm. So I thought about skincare. It's your higher priced items. It's your repeat customers. Customers buy more than one product. So I'm like, okay, well, this is, this is what I'm going to do this year. So I bought samples and I gave them out to anyone who was my customer. I gave them out just to people in general. I slipped them in my books. I used to love going to customers that didn't buy skincare, sampling them skincare. Um, but then you had the ones who focused on, say for example, Nutura. So I would come to them with a new, of course. So some of them realized the difference right away. Some it took years. But the thing is, these customers are still with me now. 26 years later, they're still with me. So, you know, I get all the time from my team, whoops, where are samples? I just type samples into a search and they all pop right up for you. That's right. You know, sharing what you love is the most important way to build your business and to gain new customers and, um, you know. Yeah, is your phone ringing? My, my phone's ringing. Oh. Oh, oh, it's ringing now. <laughs> what, why should you like call? Jewel, <laughs> we're in a meeting, what are you doing? I know, I know, sorry. Really quick though, do I look different? What are you talking about? something's different. I keep passing a mirror. I'm doing a double take. I don't know what it is. Do you see something? Well, you're kind of glowing. You know, I started snail mucin and it's only been like four or five days and am I crazy, but something has changed. Well, you look marvelous, darling. <laughs> I'm going to have to try mine as soon as I get it. So I know this was silly what we just did, but we really did do this. I was in the car and I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, this is crazy. I have to call the only person, my sister-in-law, my best friend. She'll give me the honest opinion. But um, I took what I did with her and I just shared it with people in general, you know, because I honestly did see a difference. This was the first time probably ever that I notice a difference in my skin right away. So, you know, if you haven't tried snail mucin yet, you might want to. I love that. I love that little phone demo. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody expect them to do a FaceTime demo here on stage? I bet not. But listen, I'm glad you did that because it's so real life. How many of you, how many of you do that with your bestie? Now, I know that sometimes I'll call her and I'll ask for her advice, which sometimes I'm like, why did I do that? Because she can be brutal. But <laughs> it's true, right? They have such a genuine, great relationship that Bernadette's going to tell her the truth, right? And you yeah. both hit upon the fact that sampling is key. Now, I want to pause for just a couple of moments um, and just talk about snail mucin since you brought it up. You all may be aware that recently we had snail mucin samples and we sold out of them. Now, when we launched the snail mucin products, we did as a company feel that it was very important to give you, to give your customers those samples because it is a new ingredient, right, for a lot of people. And who doesn't love a good sample gift, right? I mean, I know I do, right? 
So do you remember earlier when I talked about snail mucin, how it's trending, and how as a consumer, you know, fave, we've seen the sales, they've surged over 50% in the market in the past year. So in addition to gifting, the sample's oversold. And that means that people want them. Now the other thing, because since we're talking about the samples, is the company is so committed to sampling that I just heard that 50,000 samples are on their way and they will be coming soon, okay? All right, I wanted to share that with all of you. So let's turn this to you now, um, to the audience, and let's talk about sampling. So thinking about the importance of sampling, what is your sampling strategy? Go ahead and start taking some notes. And I'm going to do a little talking with that as well. <laughs> Julie, I've got to tell you that um, I loved your example of your shyness at the beginning of turning into sales because I do think a lot of people look up to you. They look up to you, to Bernadette, and they're like, well, there's no way they're going to be shy. They just must have been you know, successful right from the beginning. But it's very important that you talked about the strategy of using your shyness, but you gave a sample with every single thing that either it was a brochure or if they purchased something. And how smart if somebody did purchase Natura to say, hey, I'm going to gift you this a new sample. And whether or not that turned into a sale, which we know that it did, it took years, I think you had shared. But you wanted to give them something that you knew that worked. It wasn't just about the price point. So I really want to drive that home. The sales is important, but Julie knew that a new worked, OK? So we've talked about customers, but now I want to talk about promoting your business. So I always use customer feedback and my personal experience, because that's what makes it real. Um, people want to hear what people like. I mean, we hear it all the time. And Janine's up there, and you know, we look at her, and we're like, we need to get that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, make it personal. I recently had um, a customer come to me. Um, you know, she, she wanted a moisturizer. So I knew she had used the um, serum, uh, the Isonox serum. So, of course, I paired it with the moisturizer. But I mentioned if your skin is dry, extra dry, you might want to incorporate our brand new product, Snail Mucin. I had a friend tell me it was a game changer for her. So I, this was all by email. I took the snapshot, I included it, I put the links to both the products and left it at that. That night, instead of having one order, I had two. So people like to hear that. So share what you love, share what your customers love. Absolutely. You know, and I'm going to go to demoing. OK, back in the day, my mom was an Avon representative. She was a very successful top seller. And I'm not going to say how long ago, because that will age me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she would go door to door and demonstrate all the new products to her customers. She would wear it, and she would show them and let them touch and feel. and. This is how she became so successful. OK, now, times have changed, but the culture of the business has not. Mm -hmm. People still like to see the product. So you know, we don't have the time. Our customers don't have the time. Everybody's very busy. We can barely get our foot in the door, much less demonstrate a product, right? So I would recommend maybe um, a virtual demo. How about making a short YouTube video, show the color of a lipstick, say, guess what this is, or be a little creative. If, you, if you're um, on social media, how about a little FaceTime Live, or a reel, TikTok, whatever you're comfortable with. And keep it simple. <laughs> Don't overthink what you're doing. Um, if you have that feeling like, I'm going to go live today, Go live today. That's what, that's what puts your personal touch to it. I know years ago, I'd sit there and think, oh my gosh, my, my hair isn't right. This isn't right. That's not right. And five hours have passed. Just grab a few things, go live, and just share what you love. Right? Be real. 
Now it's time to expand your business. So you know how to educate yourself, you know how to share this with your customers. How are you going to expand? Julie and I use all different methods to expand and promote our business. The first thing that we always do is we reach out to all prior representatives and um, prior prospects and let them know about any new product launches going on and maybe a product that they have used has come back into stock, so we let them know about that as well. You never know, they might want to come back as, as a representative. If not, you've got a customer. When someone orders through our online store, we personally send them a thank you postcard with our QR code to the brochure, including a couple of samples to anyone who orders. And if someone prefers a physical brochure, guess what? They get one as well. Mm -hmm. And because our website and our brochure has so much in it, it's so expansive, right? Like people, again, people are busy. They don't always peruse it and go through and see all the new things we have. They'll go to that one thing that they're looking for, they place the order, and they're out. So we kind of break it down. We try to make it simple for both of our customers and our team members. We do a campaign highlights email highlighting the special offers, and we send that out via text and email. We also like to share the brochure, the full brochure, on social media, along with the Shop and Learn coupons each week. So in addition to everything we do, I'm in a different situation right now. So I recently moved to a new state and it's kind of like starting over again, but I'm not in panic mode because I still have my online business, but I need those personal connections. So I have brochures on hand, I have samples, I'm looking for community pages, and I'm just doing what I do every single day. My life revolves around Avon. Probably every conversation mm -hmm. I have is Avon. People might be tired of hearing from me, but you know, it's, it's kind of something you get used to doing day in and day out. And when you bring the word up Avon, people are intrigued. Like, you know, some people haven't heard it and they're like, Avon? And that's my opener to say, oh my gosh, Avon has come such a long way. Do you know we have Korean beauty now? And they're blown away. So just have it work into your life. I mean, it, it, you get like us after a while. You just start talking about it. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Um, there were so many great and achievable tips. I think I saw a lot of people out there nodding. I saw a lot of people writing down. So speaking of, pull up your workbook right now because I really want you, and I know it's going to be hard to choose, but I want you to <laughs> jot down your top three takeaways, okay? What are those? What are you going to do as soon as you leave? Are you gonna go ahead and place some samples, some orders for some samples when you go to lunch today so that those can arrive and you can go ahead and start gifting those out, right? So Julie and Bernadette, I truly, I just cannot thank you both enough for your time, sharing your strategies. It's been such a pleasure working with you, prepping for all of this. <laughs> um, but before we close, do you have any last thoughts that you'd like to of share? Of course we do. Yes. Of course. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, skincare, and personal care, that is your repeat business, okay? That is, that is your meat and potatoes is what I say. Everything else, the impulse buys, that's gravy. And keep an open mind. Um, what you may not like, your customers will. And, you know, I, when Snell Mucin first came out, of course, I'm talking all about it. And some of my team members, not mentioning any names, gave me that look like, oh, snail mucin. Now me, I went and Googled and said, okay, when is this coming? But others were not like that. And I said, just remember what you do not like. And that's with anything. It's not just skincare. It's jewelry or the clothing. Mm -hmm. Another person will. And that's that sales and earnings for you. So I have one saying I always use over and over. 
if what you're doing isn't working, it's time to change. I know change is really hard, but I analyze my business all the time. And I tell my children the same thing. You can't repeat yourself over and over because you're never going to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. Change your approach, change how you speak. Step out of your comfort zone. <laughs> Literally. See who, you know, what you get with it. I, I see it this way. If you step out of your comfort zone, you're either gonna get a customer, you're gonna get a new team member, or you're probably never going to see that person again. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Consider trying new products yourself and use some of our strategies to go ahead and build your sales. Absolutely. Those are some really great tips. Oh my gosh. I feel like we could keep this conversation going mm -hmm. and going and going, but I know that we are over time, but trust me, this is gonna be good before we close. We have an exclusive offer to share and no one, including Bernadette and Julie, no one has seen this offer yet. You ready? Okay, available, let's pull up the slide. Available, this offer is going to be available until the end of campaign 17. There we go. Everyone, all ambassadors, that means everybody, whether you're joining us live, whether you're virtual, whether you're watching the replay, we really want you to enjoy this exclusive Beyond Glow bundle. It's a regimen of products that, to, that are gonna get your skin glowing. You got a cleanser, look at that, a cream mist, a face serum, two full-size face creams. Everything is full-sized. Loving the 10% niacinamide, um, the snail mucin, the panthenol, really, really great. This offer is going to be available on avon.com, avon.ca. And I have to say this, you know, we always do, just like with our Shop and Learns, supplies are limited. So do not mess out because this is an incredibly value priced offer. So with that, it's time for us to close this particular session. But for all of you, again, whether you're in person, whether you're joining virtual, um, or even watching the replay, we really want you to keep growing, to keep glowing, and we will all see you very soon. Thanks, everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Bernadette. Thank you. Thank you.